Hello guys and welcome here to the Hitachi truck series. This is race number 20 here today from the Talladega Super Speedway. We are kicking off the round of eight here today with the Chevrolet Silverado 250, I believe. I'm Brian James here in the booth with you today. Xavier Rain, he's not in the playoffs, but he's starting on the pole. And to his outside will be that number six of Casey Naco. Make no mistake about this. This is the great equalizer. This is a very tricky track to start the playoffs on, or start this round of the playoffs on. Of course, it is not an easy round for these truck guys because they have this race, they have Watkins Glen, then they have Gateway to wrap up the round of eight. So to get to the championship four, it's going to be hard fought and it's definitely going to be well earned if you can get there. Keep in mind right now, Max Anderson, Trevor Collins, Alexander Rowe, and Eric Faden are the top four seeds in this round. Kevin Thomas, Casey Naneko, Mitchell Collins, Frodo Marats, they are going to be racing their way in starting this race. So the chase is on, guys to get to the championship four and only three races to do it to make it to Ricky Raceway. Who will do that? Who will head home waiting for next season? We're going to find out in just a moment as let's roll the intro and we'll be back with your starting lineup here on GCN in just a moment. You are watching the Gaming Collaboration Network, home of the Jello Cup Series. And I believe this time, the 43 Tim Randolph will win at Daytona. The Lift National Series. Here we go. They make their way through turn three and four. The pace car will peel off. And for the first time ever, the Lift National Series is green. Here at Daytona. The Hitachi Truck Series. And here we go. The pace truck is gonna peel off. And for the first time ever in GCN history, we have a truck series and we are underway under the lights here at Daytona. And Tuesday night heat. Your GCN presentation starts right now. Here we go, they are on the back stretch. Let's take a look at the starting lap. That's on the left hand side of your screen. And again, the playoff drivers are highlighted in yellow. And next round, or after this race, if one of those playoff drivers wins, they will have their name flipped to the green. Keep in mind, it's win in advance. Possibly the biggest stage to try to win. But it's be patient, be there at the end, and avoid the big one. It is definitely a few big things to keep in mind as we go through the course of this race. Of course, there are no pit stops, our usual rules here. And much like every track now going forward, we do have overtime at our dispense. The pace truck has peeled off. Xavier Rain, Casey Naneko, they'll lead us down the long front straightaway. And the green flag is out. We are underway at Talladega. Of 
question is, how long will it take him to get established? You see that bottom lane is already moving. And you see Xavier Rain, he's able to go top to bottom. Four wide back there. Oh, they're touching, they're touching. And somehow they make it out of that. The 17 and the 04 nearly had a scare there. And you see it's back to 3x3 three three as Xavier Rain, he'll lead the opening lap here at Talladega. Now here comes the 17, his teammate, Dylan Ibrahimian. <coughs> But right behind him, the Daytona winner, Eric Faden. And you got to believe he's a favorite here at Talladega. He's never won a race at Talladega. So we'll see if he can do so today as he pushes the 17 out in front. And I questioned as well, would there be any teamwork here, you know? Especially with that 26. He's got four teammates. Do you think... They work together. I mean, I, I think for them it's a lot harder to work together because all three or three of the five of them have a shot at advancing to the next round. Tyler Faden and Nathan Faden aren't in the playoffs. They don't have a ch uh, chance of advancing. <clears throat> As Eric Faden goes to the lead, here comes the 20 of Sam Young. Just look at how far ahead that 26 has gotten because everyone is side by side behind him. <clears throat> you just see he's really able to hold the lead here. As they've kind of sorted things out back there, thankfully. <clears throat> come back they're still side by side back there you see the 48's in the picture up here now with Diego Yepes now the 20 is right on the bumper of the 26 and he's gonna look for the lead on lap number five And this seems like a really untraditional Talladega or Daytona race. You could see that outside is really able to hang with that inside lane. <clears throat> you see, no one's really able to challenge that 26. <clears throat> Again, we remind you, we've only got three races left after today, sadly. Um, next Sunday, we're off, I believe, because of the Charlotte Roval. But when we come back, we're going to run... Yeah, we're going to run Watkins Glen in two weeks, and then we're going to run Gateway. And then we're done till, or for another week until Ricky Raceway, which of course will be the championship site for the first time ever in GCN history as well. Kind of going back to the Tax Slayer Cup days there. You see the 17 pull out in front. And now Dylan Ibrahimian in control of the field. We've documented how close he's come this season to a few uh, Lyft National Series wins. He just hasn't gotten the job done. 
And now he's trying to do something here in the truck series. And we'll see, but he's got no help behind him right now. Here's the 20 now. The 20 is going to try and help him. And keep in mind, two of these playoff drivers are up here. Right now, actually three of them, because Frodo Maratz is also quietly back there. But Casey Naneko trying to go for the lead. And again, a win by Casey Naneko. Or Eric Faden or Frodo Maratz or any of those other five playoff drivers. Puts them in the championship for Ricky. They do not have to worry going to Watkins Glen or Gateway. But this is going to shape up to be a wild championship battle. Of course, we talked about the six needing to race his way in. And he could move that cut line. Here goes the 20 of Sam Young. He'll take the race lead. And now the six is back there. Can he make a move? See right there, they're side by side, but they're by themselves. And the six of Casey Naneko will go to the race lead for the time being. And keep in mind, if he advances to the championship four, he might just do it in both series. You gotta keep in mind too, he is in the battle in the cup series. Oh, the 04 with an issue. Henry Sanford. He has blown up. That'll end the day for them. A tough break for that 04 team. see that 20 he holds on to the race lead for now and keep in mind the trucks have next weekend off it's a little bit of a split now there's two more weekends off for the truck series you see the 17 go to the lead it's five laps of racing to go and look at them they're just about single file back there This is not the time to be single file. This is the time to move. And I think Casey Naneko knows that. But just how strong is that draft from the leader? Or four laps to go now. Here goes Casey Naneko. Keep in mind that 17 is so strong right now. Out in front of the pack. Coming up into the mix now is that 38 of Trevor Collins. As you see the 6 of Casey Naneko again battling for the lead. Can the 13 get up there and give that 17 a push? And it looks like he's able to. 17 goes back to the race lead. They are having a really hard time getting around him. With 3 to go.
If this is a preview for what to expect at Ricky Raceway, it is one damning or one sure thing that we are going to expect a lot of difficult passing. As the 51 tries to go for the lead, that's Keith Stevens. He was your fairgrounds winner earlier this year. Two laps of racing to go. And I don't know how that 17 gets such a good run off the corner, or entering the corner like that on the outside. That I just don't understand. Must be this package that they're running. But they need to wind back up here. Give him a run for his money. As here we go. We're coming down the front stretch. Doesn't look like there's a caution. So it's going to be white flag. One lap of racing to go presented by Mitchell's Memes. And we have a battle for the lead once again. Here comes the 51. It's not going to happen. And just look at how far that 17 gets out in front. And the question is, if they can stay organized here, can they overtake him entering turns 3 and 4? Here we go. Don't rule anything out just yet. But one thing you can rule out is it doesn't look like a playoff driver is going to get the win here through turn four. Here comes the 51. He's going to make a move. It won't matter, though. The 17 is able to block both runs, and Dylan Ibrahimian will win at Talladega. Congratulations to Dylan Ibrahimian. He steals a win from these playoff guys. And I'm sure they won't be very happy, but hey, he needed a win. He's been getting uh, beat down all year just about. Um, he didn't have a good run, of course, in the Lyft National Series this year. He's come close. He just falls short every single time. So you know how much this win meant to him. And congratulations to him. We want to thank you guys for watching. We're going to show you results in standings, and we will see you for the second race in the round of eight at Watkins Glen in a few weeks. Until then, goodbye everyone.